Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I thought I would do a really quick lazy girl workout. There's some times where I'm super motivated to do a big booty workout, which I have on my channel, but I thought this would be a great lazy girl booty workout. And I usually like tell you guys what to do and then let you do it, but this workout, I'm actually gonna do it with you which will probably suck. <laughs> yeah, if you want more weighted dumbbell gym stuff, I'll link some of my workout videos below, but this is just how to get a bubble butt and we're gonna do it together. It will be quick. Yeah, if you're doing this to stay healthy because you have certain goals, whatever the reason is good for you, don't stress yourself out. You don't need a bubble butt to do this. It's just important for women specifically to have strong glutes, I personally think, but you know what? No butt or butt, you're still cute, so don't worry about it. Okay. <sighs> we're starting off on our hands and knees, and we're gonna start with just kickbacks. You're gonna force your foot towards the ceiling. So just copy me, we're gonna do 30 per side. Try not to use too much momentum, momentum to swing up. Make sure it's just your glute that's helping your leg out. right into the next leg. Coming on to your back with your legs together, like your feet together like this. I know it looks fucking weird, but whatever. Um, you're pushing up with your glutes like so. Your knee or your feet should be as close to your crotch as possible. Let's do 30 pulses. Squeeze up the top. Now, just regular feet on the ground, 30 again, squeezing at the top. Coming out for donkey kicks, what you're gonna do, one leg goes out and then you kick out while keeping your glute up and your torso should stay really steady, okay? Use your abs to stay steady. You shouldn't be 
you know, leaning or tilting or anything like that. So we're gonna do um, 10 of these kickouts per side, um, but after each side, we're gonna pulse a fire hydrant. So let's do, let's see, 10 of 10. One. pulses. Other side. Twenty pulses. Okay, next we're gonna go back into, I know before we did like the kick ups, but these are just gonna be pulses. We're gonna do 30 um, pulses on each side, okay? So I do this one, two. You can flex your foot. Switch sides, take a breath. onto your side like this and um, you can pop your head up or head like this it doesn't matter I keep this hand here and it looks easy it's like open and closing like this it looks easy but it's harder than it looks um, and we're gonna do 30 on each side okay You're gonna go up and down with your leg. It's control, you're not just kicking it up, you can feel it in your glutes. And do 25 on each side. Or 20, let's do 20.
20 pulses on this side. Switch sides. By the way, this is not period blood. If you see this, this is red wine. Pulsing it up to 20. Okay, so now we are doing knee squats. And these might look weird, but it's literally just a squat on your knees. Your leg should be about shoulder width apart, maybe a little more with your knees kind of facing out a little and you're squatting back like you would a regular squat and squeezing at the top slowly with control you can do these with weights too let's do 20 of these we're gonna do, I don't really know how to explain it, but I'll show you. You step up with one leg, up with the other, down with the first leg, down with the other. So um, you're staying level the whole time. You don't wanna be bouncing. You wanna keep your bum really, really low. So we're gonna do five on each leg, okay? So let's go, this is one. And go with the same leg the whole time. Two. Three, four, five. And take a breather and we're gonna do the other side. Remember to breathe and how many water if you need it, which you should be. We're getting there. We're gonna do squats, but not your usual squat. It looks like a swing squat. So it's like, so your body is coming over one foot and back on the other. Your body weight goes on your glutes from here down to the other side, over top to the other side. So our last glute exercise is just gonna be holding a bridge. Um, let's do this for 45 seconds.
Okay. Oh my gosh, there's a deer. He's so pretty. Done, done, done. So if you want to go crazy, of course you can play this back and do two rounds of it. Um, if that's like your full workout for the day, but if you're kind of on like a rest day or you just want to get a really quick workout in like me and you're lazy, just, you know, you can leave it at the one time. Um, yeah, it's just a good little, um, it's really good for beginners and even people who have been lifting weights for a while like myself and I just don't have access to weights or just want to get in a really quick workout, you know, you can still gain muscle with body weight. Um, it's a misconception that you can't. It can take longer, of course, because you don't have as much um, progressive overload on it, but you can still get a nice booty um, by doing exercises like this. Okay, so I like to do some quick stretches after. Um, this is a really good one for the hip flexors, and I just really need to do that. Oh my god, I have the worst sunburn in my butt, in my legs. I'm not gonna bore you with my whole stretching routine, but just some really good ones for the booty. After working out, you just hug your bum into your chest. So you can go like this. It's really important to stretch before and after working out. And another good one is put your leg like 90 degree, like so. Your back leg can just chill, like bend behind you. And then you reach towards your um, foot. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than my other ones, but yeah, I just thought it would uh, make a really chill, lazy workout for us. And I hope you got a good burn from it. Make sure you follow me on all my social medias and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah.